What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, so today we're gonna do something different. I decided to do a get ready with me video. I'm in LA, I haven't been here for a while, so I'm feeling good and I wanna get dressed up. I'm gonna go to the Beverly Hills Hotel and I'm gonna walk y'all through my hair, my makeup, my outfit. Let's go, let's get started. We are going to start with my face. I use Maybelline Fit Me Warm Coconut 356. It's bomb, very affordable. It's at the drugstore, it's convenient. I get a lot of compliments. I've liked it over the years, so I just stick with it and it works for me. I already have some on my face, so I'm just going to build up on it. I use my hand, how do y'all do it? Share with me in the comment how y'all like to apply it. I like a sponge. I've learned to wet it. The moisture, I feel like, helps the makeup to lock into your skin. That's what makeup artists have said and told me. I think it's true. This is a beauty blender. So I'm pretty much good on my foundation. And this is Kevin Aquan. I love this. This is the only one that I use. Move this in. Do y'all feel like y'all be beating y'all face up? <laughs> Literally, I feel like <laughs> I call it a beat for a reason. I be trying to, you need a nice little firm hand. I try to be a little gentle. And then when I feel like I have a lot of makeup on one side of the blender, I just kind of flip it and turn it around. Now I'm gonna go with some setting powder to lock in this highlight under here. Boom. Boom. Okay, then we're gonna blend that in. Light it up under here really well. And we're gonna be good. And again, I flip the brush or the sponge or the beauty blender. And then I really, you know, just to make sure I'm not just like caking makeup on top of makeup. And get a nice little smooth blend up under there. Boom. Maybelline Fit, this is coconut. This is a powder, a matte poreless powder. So then I'm just gonna go in and just make sure I smooth all of what I just did in. We just lit it up under there, so I wanna make sure that it blends and it's not too light. That should do it and I should be good there. But rouse, baby, is what's next. I pretty much laid the foundation down, but I'm just gonna walk through it a little bit again because I hate when the powder gets on your brows and now it's like the color of your makeup. Like I like my brows to be dark and made. All right, there's not a whole lot to do here and I just got them filled. I got them tinted and filled and waxed so they kind of shining right now. I'm a black liner girl. That's kind of my vibe I've always stuck to. And a little eyeshadow. This is a MAC palette. Burgundy times nine. I'm actually gonna start first and do like a new just under here. I keep it really simple with my eye. I don't really do a whole lot of fancy tricks. I put on some individual lashes too, so my face is kind of like when your brows and your lashes are, are already together, that makes it so much easier. The foundation of it is just kind of laid. I'm trying to do a little smoky. Make sure it's a nice little glow, but not too glam and too beat. I do want to have add bottom mascara because I feel naked without bottom mascara. It's almost like not having liner on. Boom, boom, boom. I think I might be out of my spray, y'all, but I'm gonna try. Ooh, it's something coming out. <laughs> After I do my setting spray, I just like to go in and just blend a little bit more. That's it on the makeup. I'll show y'all a lip. I'll do you that favor. Okay, so that pretty much ties up the makeup. So this isn't a makeup tutorial, so I didn't do step by step, and I'm almost about to be late for lunch and miss my reservation. I can't do that. But I just added a little highlight on my nose. I did my lips. I just did brown liner. I'm still stuck in the 90s. I still like brown liner and an oversized lip, so I did that. So we are going to move on to my outfit, and my outfit involves not having to do my hair, which is really dope. Ooh, 
okay, so this is the outfit. I'm being a little extra today, but you know, that's how I'm feeling. This do-rag I wore to the BET Awards last year, 2019. Haven't worn it since, so today is the day. I found this cute shirt that's the same like mesh diamond material. That's gonna be fun. I've got these shorts from Lyon. They're like a cute fitted biker short. And then I'm gonna do just a, a simple strappy. Keep it simple. And that's the look. So here is the outfit. It's a do-rag. So y'all see, I didn't really need to do anything to my hair, so I just pulled it down. And there we have that. The do-rag hangs pretty low. I'm gonna get y'all a full body. And this is the shirt. I know I'm only going to lunch, but I want it to be fancy. And this is it. I feel like this also matches um, the Beverly Hills Hotel vibe. I'm giving a little like old Hollywood mixed with a little around the way girl chic. Okay, so this is the look. Complete head to toe. About to head out. I told y'all the do-rag was long and dramatic. But this is it. So let's go. We're about to go to lunch. Okay, y'all, so we're here, so let's go. Ooh, what is this, the Hotel California? Yummy. Okay, y'all, so I did not account the weather into my whole idea. I'm hot as hell with this little fancy ass outfit on, but I have my drink. This is very refreshing. It's kind of pulling me off. I went with the peaches and cream, French toast, yum. It's about to go down, y'all. If you know me, you know I'm about to go in. Okay, y'all, so the French toast was bomb AF. Peaches and cream. I need to get you that I'm clean. <laughs> Make sure y'all like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. These are fun. I think they're cool to kind of capture the day and capture, you know, the start to finish process of it all.